go grab some tutoring. Go connect to someone that will teach you how to navigate the MPC or even just some beat making ideas to help you create music. One of the things that I've noticed while I'm tutoring people online and once I started doing this is how helpful it actually is to a lot of people to just have someone they can talk to about beat making and to help them get to what they want to do in a much faster way than what YouTube can do. YouTube is great, but I think YouTube is great for people that already know how to navigate the MPC, already know how to get their beat making ideas done, and then they just need some small little topics to help them finish that. And they already know the terminology, they already know how to work with the sampler. They have almost everything figured out and just they just need YouTube for small little tasks, right? But there's a lot of people who are trying to start making beats on a new sampler or it doesn't even need to be the MPC or anything like that. They just want to start making beats but they have absolutely no clue and they think that YouTube is going to do it for them. In my opinion, from my personal experience tutoring people online, it's amazing what just 10 minutes or five minutes even can do to help a person out. It's just incredible. I've been giving out lessons, right? And some people that come through, sometimes they just really want to talk. They want me to listen to their music. They want to, they want me to just give out some some ideas, maybe try to help them structure the beats in a better way. Other people are coming in for some lessons on the MPC. They just bought the MPC and they want to learn how to work with it. Some people already, they're already beat makers, but they came into the, uh, into the MPC world and they need lessons. So they already know how to make music. They just want to know how to work with the MPC. Others actually come like fresh. They have no idea how to make a beat. They have no idea how to work with an MPC. You have to teach them like just from the beginning, how to follow a metronome, how to do these small little steps into beat making. A small little thing that to me means absolutely nothing, but to them was just blocking their creativity. They couldn't get past that small little detail that to us, we don't make a video on because it just, it feels like it's really nothing. It's, it's not even a topic, but it is to them. So the video is just, you know, go and talk to someone. You might need to actually go and speak to someone if you think, if you're thinking that, um, you know, there, there's, there's some, something about your beat making process or maybe you need to learn the NPC. Just go and talk to one of us. I'm not I'm not doing this. So I can get people to come into my lessons. I already have a lot on my plate right now. I'm, I'm really doing this because I see how happy people are once they come into the lessons. It really changes them. It really helps them to to give us to go a step ahead because that's what they need. I've been trying to learn keys. I'm still learning. Of course, I will be always learning to play keys as with sampling. Um, and, you know, I was always learning online. I was always trying to learn online, but I did come up to a point that I thought, you know, I just need to really talk to someone and to be, be with someone. So I had a guy here from my city to teach me. And one of the, just one of the things that he gave me this, You've probably seen it on some of my videos. Uh, it's always around this little book has a lot of exercises and a lot of things that are really, really helping me to become better at playing the keys. And there's small little things, but these things are like exercises and stuff like that that I do over and over again. 
and it just it gets muscle memory on my fingers and i just get better and better at playing keys through these exercises although i learned a lot of music theory through youtube it was really when i got with someone that was really a keyboardist he plays really well and i you know it gave me all these exercises it was only th then that i actually started getting better at playing the keys For me, I wish I could just have a session with DJ Premier, Q-Tip, Pete Rock, all of these uh, amazing artists that I follow, just to, not even to, to learn how to do certain things on the MPC, just, but just, you know, to be inside of their heads for a little bit to kind of figure out how they think when they're searching for samples or they're making a beat, what's their process or anything of the nature. The, just 10 minutes can really change your life. And I noticed that when people come to speak to me, on the first 10 minutes, it's like, it's already a win. Because they come with questions, and this is important. You need to have a set of questions when you come and talk to someone about beat making. Already, have, already come prepared. Because if it's just the, the guy tutoring you, telling you, oh, this is a sequence, this is how you sample, it might not mean anything. You need to know what you want to do, right? It's, it's in, sometimes we don't have any questions, and that's okay. You might just need to be, you know, introduced to to the to the beat making process. But it's it's great to have questions already, because uh, you know that that's how you break away from the thing that's blocking your creativity sometimes you have these things that we perceive to be the way to do things and sometimes it's just not because those things don't exist whatever it is whatever technique it is before you come into one of these sessions just make sure you have like a bunch of questions that are there to help you having time with another producer is key many many times whatever you want to talk about samplers beat making how i put my music out Whatever it is, right? Some, some, some of us have that knowledge and are willing to share it with you. So just search for that person. That was my tip for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Okay. Make sure you talk to someone in case you need it. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. All right. Peace. Have a great Sunday. Bye.